What's up, guys? Jay, Morning After Kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And this, this is Bosik. Bosik is an asshole with a big ass Scorch Cannon. He's also a fairly easy boss. The majority of this fight relies on crowd control and mobs while waiting for bombs to drop from the ceiling so you and your team can throw them at him to take his shield out. It's the only way. <laughs> now, after each round of bombs, you must destroy a monitor that randomly spawns behind his platform on either side of him that signals impended doom. It's similar to Crota's overshield. On the third round of bombs, a captain will spawn and try to stop you from throwing your bombs. Now, once Vasek's shield is fully depleted, then it's up to you and your team to group up for a damage phase, during which you pretty much unload on him with everything you got. Weapons bubbles, tethers, sleeper simulants, yala horns, sniper rifles, even the extra bombs that fall from the ceiling will do massive damage to him. But once the lights behind him turn on, you must get your team to a clean room, or else his room clear nanites will kill your entire team. Kill them dead. <laughs> it's not a hard fight. It's fairly simple and easy to understand. However, one of the biggest issues I've seen people having is that after you push him past 50% health, the mobs switch from vandals to repeater and exploding shanks. This is where I've seen a lot of people struggle because it's very easy to get surrounded by exploding shanks while trying to throw your bombs at Vasek. You're 100% vulnerable to attack while holding these bombs. However, it is entirely possible to skip this phase and not deal with any shanks at all. The best part is, you don't really have to deviate from your original plan. So what you're gonna do is a normal phase one bomb rotation. You have your teams throw the bombs, you take care of your monitors, bombs again, captains, DPS, Except, instead of giving him everything you got, hold back just a little bit on the tethers. You know, a weapons of light bubble and the bombs from the ceiling are gonna be just fine, but the object of this rotation is to do about 40% of his health in the first run. Doing anything more than that will trigger the shank phase, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. Now, on the second phase, once again, you're going to do everything normally, except on the last captain phase, when you're about to take his shield out, instead of hitting him with all six bombs on your team, your tether hunter is going to purposely miss his bomb by slam dunking it on his captain. This is going to leave Vasek with a very small sliver of health to his shield. The reason why we're doing this is because on the next set of bombs that fall, four of your teammates are going to take their bombs to the back area where you group up for DPS, while the two front bomb throwers will take his shield out and tether him. Now, once his shields are down and he's tethered, the rest of the team is absolutely just going to shit on him with four Simba bombs right from the rip before even taking one shot of DPS, you're gonna do half a million extra damage during this DPS phase just by throwing them bombs. Plus your guns, plus the three bombs that fall from the ceiling during this DPS phase, your tethers, weapons of light, bubbles, every it's gonna be more than enough to put his dick in the dirt in two phases and completely eliminate the struggle bus shanks just by purposely holding back DPS on phase one and missing one of your bombs on phase two. I will say that you do need two bombs to take his shield out because the first bomb only does 2,000 damage while the second bomb is going to do the 100,000 damage. So that's why we have two bomb throwers taking out his sliver of health while the other four is banging him down with them civil balls. So my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. 
If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers and watch my motherfucking video. But let me know in the comment section down below. Does this help you out at all? Even if you don't use this strategy and you picked up something from this video that you previously didn't know or was having issues with it, tell me in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if there's anything else in the hard mode raid that you and your team are struggling with. Maybe I can give you guys some pointers, or some tips. I don't know. <laughs> My name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.